Hello everyone, so Jay Jay here, so I tip the scales with another game of Neverwinter Nights 2. Alright, so Act 3 had begun, sort of excitedly. We had a, um, the enemy attacked us, and now attacked our Neverwinter Castle, Castle Never, and now we're back here gathering allies. Let's see what the party has to say. You finally made it back, and with a new title too. Captain. Heard you got ambushed, but you seem all right nonetheless. Wonder for how much longer if they keep attacking you. To attack Castle Never? The King of Shadows? Garius? Ooh, they're getting bold, they are. So, did you get any gold along with the knighting ceremony? I mean, not that you'd carry it with you, since I already checked your pockets and your bags. What efforts are being made Good in the Nishka. war? Will Nasher commit his forces? And what of Waterdeep and the Lord's Alliance? Know that word of all of this has traveled before the Kalak Cha. Our duty is to carry the battle to the King of Shadows, his servants, and gather others who feel the same. Alright, so... Pretty much tell a party the same thing I told him the other day. Ooh, that, that, that lighting is off. No, that will not be easy. Every time they are struck down, they reform. The only losses in battle with them will be ours. There must be a way. Evil always has a weakness. We just have to find it. Well, that's the trick, isn't it? The thing is, how long do you look and where? Pardon me, but sometimes these things come to you. I mean, we can't be the only ones the Reavers have threatened or hurt. We already have crossed paths with a bunch of allies and people and sorcerers and sages we never even knew before. And we did much of that through serendipity. So have a little faith. Maybe an answer will come to us. No. A stopped clock is right twice a day. That this may be the best we can hope for. We should search. But the problem of the Reavers may be one that only time can aid us with. Well... That's a, that's a problem. Who's going to find a way to penetrate the claimed lands and strike directly at the King of Shadows? The claimed lands kill all life that enter it. We wouldn't be able to reach the King of Shadows in time. The movement through the mare is never swift, even in the best of times. If there's a path at all, we'd still need to know where we were going. And even then, we'd probably die getting there. I don't think there's an easy path. As much as I hate to say it, I think we should ask Alden on for advice on this. Oh, gods. And I gotta form alliances. Alliances are made to be broken. If agreed to at all, good luck trying to get anyone to join our side in these times. Clan Iron Fist will help. They may take some convincing, but they wouldn't back down from a fight if they thought it was just. The lizard folk should not be ignored. They once made their homes in the mare, and the King of Shadows has driven them out. The lizards? Their history with settlements along the mare is bloody. But they are fiercely territorial and are likely to hate the King of Shadows even more. And we could look at last for the Wendersnaven. Oh, gods. No, they're not gods. They're the Wendersnaven. They exist, even if you can't see them with the eye or touch them. They see all, know all, and have incredible powers. If they are on our side, we have a good chance of winning. Oh, really? And how do we find something you can't see or touch and most likely exists in your head? There's two sages at Port Last that are said to know something of the Wendestaven. We could ask them. Then it seems we have a number of roads open to us and an army to build. Well, anyway. Interesting. Let's see what the Neville ha Neville has to say. Alright. Oh, so he's been assigned to this keep, eh? Spoken with Vidor and the reason we can now rebuild the tower. He wants to use it as a guard tower. What were Nash's orders? Alright. So I've got to find out. I've got to find some stuff. got to find some stuff out before I can actually um, get this castle built. Before I can move on. But that's okay. I'm going to go through all the camp, all these alliances and stuff. Because they're all important. Hey, look, Bevel's here. Bevel? I looked for you in West Harbor. I thought you'd been killed. No, I'd already left West Harbor. Guess I was on the road when it happened. I'd heard about the war, so I... I decided to don the grey and do my part. What's better than donning the black? That goes on... That, you get taken to a big wall there. Georg was plenty steamed, but I kept thinking that West Harbor wouldn't really need me. Not as much as you would anyway. Near as I can tell, I must have left town just before, you know, before they all died. Heard about any other survivors? Well, okay, um... Dagon wasn't around. He just disappeared, eh? 
Alright, Thomas, not sure. Something arcane way out of town. Uh, Redder Starling, though. Redder Starling's dead. Sorry about your family. Uh, how'd you find out about West Harbour? There's rumours and then Bishop... <laughs> what will we do now? Town is having to patrol the walls. He's gonna make... He's gonna make a... He's gonna become a sergeant, is he? Well... Well, good luck with that. Good luck with becoming a sergeant there. Um, anyway... There's also a, um... Structure over there, which... Can now be also built. The temple. I think Vidal will explain more about that. Hey, Vidal. Ah, changed everything you know. This power up will no longer do for you. <laughs> we must be glory at Christine. Um, does it make much of a difference? <laughs> Status. Yeah. Two great buildings. One used to be guard tower, the other a church. Alright, who'd be interested in the church? Uh, a couple of requests, eh? Ivar the Blessed, the Holy Priest of Tear. He was in there at Castle Never trying to heal me up. Alright. The Master Monk, eh? Well, let's build, it for the, let's build the church of the sun, Monastery of the Sun Soul. What? I have no funds left? Oh, right. I do have funds left. For some reason, I didn't have any funds left in the coffers. Anyway, let's go check out this, um... Let's go see what's going on here. Um, uh, wait, please, Captain. I've been waiting to extend you an invitation from Luskin. We have pressing business, which does not include invitations from Luskin at this time. I'll uh, thank you to step aside. Very good. Um, yes, fine. I'll just, just wait then. So yeah, to get thrown into this room automatically, just... Hey, why not? Not just doing anything important. The number of visitors dropped me in by late. <laughs> Out in honor. Well... Find somewhere breach and claim land, enter the Vale of Mer Madeline. What is the remaining obstacle? Getting there, you see, is a problem. To do that, we need to create a portal. And then tell the portal to create on the other end. It has to appear in the Vale. And how do we do with that? Well, we ask Cecil, right? Cecil can probably tell us how to get into the Vale. Oh, wait. What do you need? When well, Gary has invited me to this keep. Kidnapped. Yes, yes, when Gary has invited me, one of those tomes we translate was a fascinating work called the Tome of Ithkazar. Garius has the tome. Ah, uh, he uses it to transport leads and blade golems to and from the Vale of Madeleine. There's no reason we couldn't use the tome to create the same portal. Garius, one of the Shadow Reapers, has the tome. He's probably using it to control the golems. So what's your breakthrough? Well, you won't turn into zombies. Humans are not but good by definition, Aldenom. Of course they are, especially with a little milk and dust good jam. Seems okay. So this life-draining effect of the um, it's killing everyone is not is um strong at the edge of the territory, but not so much. But not so much inside. So it's like a, it's like a um when you're defending a base in an RTS, you put your prison towers on the outside, but you don't really put any prison towers on the inside. Then a Chrono Legionnaire comes in and zaps all your buildings away, and you're like, damn it, why didn't I put a pillbox there or something? So what would that be? Alright, so, uh, yeah. So you mentioned that was the first challenge, um... Alright, so it has to be at the portal. Yeah, so we know about the portal, then. We know how to think with portals. Hi, Kana. There, are It's me, Captain! You got the letter about the King of Shadows, right? Brother yes. Maxwell and I have had some fine adventures since then. We're hoping you have another quest for us. Don't forget Huon and Condrill. Oh, of course, of course. A and them, too. S so... Do you have any jobs for us? Choose your words carefully, Captain. With this lot, a misplaced word could send them to the Nine Hells. This is their last adventure. So, um, you can lie about it. <laughs> In Waterdeep, there's a tavern called the Yawning Portal. If you stay there for 101 nights, a magical realm will open to you. <laughs> yeah. Have you heard of Shadow Reavers? They hoard valuable magic items. I'm sure you need to defeat one of them. I'm not that cruel. Can you honestly handle adventures now? We're not as able as you and your companions, Night Captain, but after all the quests we've done in your service, we can handle adventure. Of course we can, Brother Maxel. We can handle, oh, I don't know, dragons, demons, or whatever and whatnot you need dealt with. 
world. The King of Shadows was the guardian of the Ilfan Empire. Ilfan Empire, you say? Guardian to boot? We have a new quest. You really should let the captain finish. Candrel, Juin, prepare the horses. We ride immediately. Don't you think we should ask? We've tarried here enough, Brother Maxwell. Uh, yes, Darid. Sorry again about this. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll stay out of too much trouble. They'll stay out of trouble. We'll treat them fairly. Alright, so the keep is now, by my, is now mine. So he's honored to serve. Give me a report. Everything's very high. Okay, war levies being collected from more farmers and merchants. Half will go to Nasha, half it goes to me. Alright, so how much do you want? So, I want to spare my farmers from this levy. Yay! That's about it. <laughs> Hooray! Great cloak, cloak report. So that's it. Uh, anything else? Alright. So that's it. Alright. Uh, talk more about in-depth of the men and their sergeants. Uh, what of Bevel? Alright. So he's experienced in combat and such a skill at leading. He's a capable sergeant, but there's something troubling him. Okay, so I have to talk to him, I guess. What he's being trained in. The patrols on the high road, but as always, you have other orders. Now, here's the thing. Bevel can be used for a whole lot of, a whole range of stuff. But once you set him for something, that's it. That's his role from now on. I read up guides and stuff. They, they recommend, like, you know, Catriona does training. Bevel does recruiting, because, you know, apparently he's got great charisma or something. Or, um, yeah. But, you know what? Um... Let's do the countrysides. <laughs> I'm certain. Let's have him train. Let's have him train the countrysides. Okay. Uh, lastly, okay. I want to organise them in. I want them to split their patrol. I'm not going to um, rush through this one. I'm going to actually grab a few people and then I'll come back to this area. Yeah, then I'll come back to the area because otherwise. Oh, cutscene. Metallurgy, thaumaturgy, yes, you heard me. Building a golem, I hope, will serve thee. No, that rhyme doesn't quite work, does it? Maybe if I use alchemy... Either way, it won't work. That construct you're messing with, gnome, it's dangerous. Ah, this is in safe hands, Sir Bishop. Gnome hands, as it were, being my name. How reassuring. I'll be sure to remind myself who's to blame when it turns on us. Oh, there is little fear of that. I think. Any accomplished craftsman takes care to put safety wards so that they might command their own creation. That's as comforting as leaving the village idiot in charge of a trebuchet. Oh, come now. That's hardly a proper analogy. It's more like leaving the village idiot in charge of a huge savage, nearly unstoppable wolf, who can only understand simple commands like kill or stop killing or, oh no, put both halves of that man down this instant. But really... This blade golem is such a gentle, unassuming creature. It would never do something so horrible, would you? Construct? Would you? So what you're saying is if you're killed, we have no way of shutting this thing down. Oh, no, 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 no. The words of command aren't cued to my voice. Only the words matter. Much like one would utter when using a wand, staff, or other device. Anyone can use them. It's only a matter of knowing what they are. I imagine that's how the construct was issued its orders from its awful masters. Hate to have that happen again, provided they don't already have the backup wards already in place. That's what I would do. You really think they might? It always pays to have a second who knows the commands, Gnome. <laughs> Especially if there's any chance the creator could be killed or wiped out. Otherwise, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Hmm. I hadn't considered that. But what if I was harmed, unconscious, or, my word, even killed? <laughs> Why, the consequences could prove disastrous. They could. But you could always take precautions, provided you knew someone you could trust. Yeah, that guy. He doesn't sound suspicious at all. Bishop sounds like an awesome guy. I can, I can, I can only see him as my bestest friend ever. Besties. Besties for life. Yeah, besties forever. Hey, look, Dagon. Hello. I see the moon has been at your back. You look well. 
It's been a long time. The mayor has grown dark, and many villages needed help in leaving before it was too late. And I have sought the scent on the breeze to learn of the Dark Hunter, King of Shadows. More can still be learned in the mayor, but I have discovered something and had to tell you at once. Hmm. I saw it destroyed. I heard one of the scouts was asking about me. Oh, well, Med, you're Dagon, aren't you? Your daughter has... I am Dagon, yes. And you are Eleni, of the Circle of the Mare. Once of the Circle. Wait, you just met? I mean, we met before in, like, Act 1. Yes. What do you want? I don't know if you're sending on a dangerous mission like you do with Bevel and I. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> I want to know why he's here. It does concern her. It concerns you both. Oh. As I hounded the trail of the Dark Hunter and his minions, I came across something I thought lost. The druids of our lands, the Circle of the Mare, still live. <gasps> That's impossible. You're mistaken. If they were alive, I would know. I can only venture to the swamp for brief periods of time. The reeds and waters feast on the living now. I followed the druids, and they had a ritual I think sustained them, even in the claimed lands. The Circle! They must have found a way to restore part of the mare. Keep it from the influence of the shadows. If so, we need to find them. They can tell us more about what's happening in the mare than anyone. And if we can get them to ally with us, we may even be able to stop what the King of Shadows is doing to the land itself. Well, they're powerful... We should go to them immediately. That was my thought as well. Thank you for understanding. Then you must make haste at once, if this is your course of action. Thanks for bringing us the information. No gratitude is necessary. We are at war and it must be done. I will mark the location on your map. As for now, I have other duties in the defense of the Sword Coast in this keep, and I must see to them. All right, then. Your father's not one for showing emotion, is he? Let's it's difficult to see how he raised you, and you turned out so different. He has a good heart. It sure worked out well for you. I wish others had had the same fathers. Regardless, we need to find the circle. But as for reaching the location, that could be difficult. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bishop. Bishop, this doesn't concern you, so stop spying on us. My dear, with you around, it pays to be extra watchful. As for you, Captain, heard your father was playing scout. I wanted to meet him, tell him what a wonderful girl he raised. All of the Sword Coast is thankful, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm surprised you even care, Bishop. Surprises and me travel together. You should know that by now. For another surprise, why don't you show me on the map you have there where your druid friends are? They're in the mare, along the northwestern reaches, near the settlements the orcs attacked many years ago during their incursion into Neverwinter. I suspected that might be one of the places. As for the incursions, it wasn't just orcs. That's near an area the King of Shadows isn't likely to have claimed, yet. Might be a good staging area to look for your dead druid friends. Dagon says they're alive. Maybe for now. Still, if you want to go, I can guide you to a safe port on the edge of the marsh. All right. That would be welcome. Yeah, seriously. Um, sort of welcome, Bishop. Save your gratitude until we get there and see the truth. But we better leave soon. Something tells me those friends of yours may have to move around a lot if they want to avoid the shadows. Yes. Bishop's probably right. All right, then. I'll set out now. I'll start scouting the path, and join up with you only when need be. It'll save us all a lot of time. Okay, uh, then. Pardon me, Captain, <laughs> but if I could just, uh, have a moment of your time... If you don't want a dagger between your ribs, I suggest you ask for alms elsewhere. Yeah! <laughs> that guy. That guy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, a lot of stuff is happening in Crossroad Keep. Yep, let's talk to the Bevel again. So, um, why sh so what are they training you in? Simple farmers, never hold a weapon, can't need skilled men. Like what? Wait, she, but she's got a strange way. She goes on about the way of the sword, and she pretty much expects everyone to charge death itself, buck naked, armed with a skinning knife if need be. 
That's good, my estimation. Swords, soldiers have to help the people too. Hmm. Um, you have to be good people first and warriors second. We're not good as soldiers, their own people don't respect them, that's what I say. Anything else? How are you doing? Kinda believes in me and my cause? Sounds like you're a god to her or something. It's about her training. Uh. Hey! <laughs> my diplomacy check worked! <laughs> Yay! Um. You have confidence, you'll know what to do when you need you. I have confidence in you. I believe in you! Alright, um. Why'd you join the Grey Cloaks? Are you telling me everything? Uh, we're friends, you can talk to me. Mum needed some butter or some such. Land and house on the edge of the swamp. Some great, some cloaked figures, some grey skinned dwarves who attack where it's harbour. The knives are sharp. That, that's why he is, that's why, how he got wounded. How did you escape? They left, they bled him out. Brother Mearing helped him out. Um. I should be asking your forgiveness for what you suffered. It's because of me. Uh huh. Uh. Yay. Yay, I helped them out. You'll. Uh, many here have had problems where we can overcome them. Alright, then, uh, nothing else we can really talk about. What are they training you in? Ever considered about venturing? He's got plenty of excitement. What do you think about the war coming up? Alright, how are you doing? Okay, he's really he's feeling better now. Even though we just haven't we haven't really moved from the same spot. Yeah, so I'm thinking about rebuilding that watch I'm thinking about rebuilding the watchtower, but then again, you know, I'm not gonna bring up the Justice League here or anything. I don't see why. I don't see why I'm gonna have to do that. And look, we've got Squeak the Cat. Uh, let's talk to Orlin first. So we don't have enough peasants, and um, we can't defeat the enemy. The enemy boxes. Oh wait, wrong game. But yeah. So um, everything seems to be in place. Uh, let's see what how much time I've got. Okay, might be able to get something down to Port Lass. Don't think I'll have enough time. Well, I could try. I could try one of these um events. Let's see. I'm gonna take um. Bishop, of course. I'm going to take Armanjero, Kelgar, Nishka, Chandra, and our sorceress friend. That's it, really. <laughs> Actually, there's not very many opportunities to um, help out Armanjero. So, let's see. Here's our current map. We don't have a lot to go with. The Village of Ember's still here, for some reason. Oh, uh, but Neverwinter's been evacuated. Oh, I have to take Grobnar. So I'm going to do the Wendus Naven. So let's take Grobnar to Port Lass. This is where you can find the, um... This is where you find him. Hmm. Has the area improved since we were gone? Probably not. Uh, yeah. Hey, wait. Who's this Light of Heavens person? Hello. The shadow grows long here, and it seems chance has thrown its in its lot with you. Will you be the sun that sends the shadow into hiding? The tree that stands still and is swallowed? Or the dark cloud that hastens the night? Um, I seek to destroy the King of Shadows. Wait, you want to fight me? Alright, I accept your challenge. No party to work with. Defensive casting on. Uh, maybe I shouldn't actually use the help. Eh. Don't know how many hit points she's got, but she's got a lot of hit points. So I'm gonna do defensive casting, and then I'm gonna lay down. The, I'm gonna just lay down the hurt with vitrolic blasts. You missed. Okay. Hope we can do it then. Boom. Nice. All right. Yeah, that's right. Every time you hit me. I can do I can deal damage back. Ow! Is it, ow my hit points. Are you dead yet? The test is finished. You have beaten me fairly and succeeded this, the first of three tests. First of three? 
I'll come for you twice more and twice more you may test it, but for now you have uh, know the right of my name. I am Light of Heavens. I mean, Heavens to Murgatroy. Exit, stage left. Yeah, Light of Heavens. If I beat all three tests, she becomes one of my sergeants. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm actually going to not rush through everything right now. I'm also going to sell a whole bunch of items for, um, you know, I'm going to sell a whole bunch of items. Let's talk to these sages, though. So it's an allegory, no? Of the lizard. Allegory. Oh, yes, you may never have been more right, I see. You see? No, 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 that's not the point. No, 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 no. Uh, yes? No, sorry, no. Excuse me. Allegory, yes? No, lizards. See, the answer to any question can be answered with an allusion to a lizard. What do you mean? Yes, explain so they may understand what we already... No, I am alone in this. You for once know more than a gnome. But how is your learning to survive unless it is shared? I know, I should explain so you all know. No? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. It sounds like they're talking nonsense, but there's a strange rhythm to it. No, 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 no. There's a sense in it, but not at a level we understand yet. Just give me a little more time. Let me listen a little more. It's like a song they're singing. I really think we should keep them talking to, um, listening to them to see what else they have to say. Yes? Slinking, yes? No. Sneaking? No. More S words. Slithering. Sunning. Stunning. Less G. Og, I think. Snog. Dog snogs on a log with frogs? No, no. Honor. No with no. You know, fascinating. I think I almost have it. This is just fascinating. I say we keep listening. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, yes. No. Oh. Whatever a Kelgar drinks, may a Kelgar drink if Kelgar does in fact think. What? Yes. No. Um. I'll say nothing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. No. Look, pardon me, says of yes and no, but we're something on a quest for something here that may or may not be real. Can you help us? Uh-huh. Yes, yep, yes. No, I know, no, you know? Please, I must know, the Wender Snaven, do they exist? Yes. Yes, yes, this is all coming together. Go on, ask me a yes or no question. Through it, we may be able to find out where the Wender Snaven are. Where are the Wender Snaven? No. <laughs> are the Wender Snaven west of here? No. Are they east of here? Yes. Actually, no. Well, kind of, yes. Not really, no. Southeast? No. It's getting us nowhere. Wonder why they didn't ask us for a map. I don't know. <laughs> Will you give me the map, please? Uh, no. Can I buy the map from you? No. Can you show me the map? Yes. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. Why, this isn't the map at all. It looks more like a riddle. Let me just copy it down, there we are, double check the spelling, put it in our journal, and we can give the original back to them. All done! I'm so excited! That's it, that's it! I know where the Wendell's neighbor are now! I mark the location on our map! Wait, you solved the riddle already? It was a riddle? Oh, I said that, didn't I? No, it wasn't. I mean, I think it was, but for some reason the mishmash of nonsensical words from a simple rhyming scheme just made sense to me. What was the riddle? Are you asking me that as a riddle, or are you asking me for real? Because if you're asking for real, the answer is, I don't really know, but I'm sure I've got the right answer. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. It makes sense. He doesn't know, he, he's like a sorcerer. He's like a sorcerer in that. He doesn't know how the magic works, but he just knows it works. And I've accounted thing on the way to my destination. Looks like trouble, right? Probably something dangerous. Ah. Uh, trolls. What's going on? Alright, um... You're very well out of the trolls will be no match for us. Do your best, I won't always be here to save you. Let's do this thing! Uh, let's see. These are trolls, so... Trolls are weak to acid attacks. Unlike real life, where... Trolls are... Not so vulnerable to acid attacks. In fact, they kind of deal, they deal out the acid attack. And some idiot cast in Tangle. Who was it that cast in Tangle? Wasn't you? Wasn't you, Bishop? No, of course not. It wouldn't be you at all. No, because you're an awesome, Bishop. 
You are just freaking awesome. I'll go wild instincts for you. So who was it? Certainly wasn't you. Oh, Media Swarm. Media Swarm. Oh, Media Swarm is freaking awesome. You should try it. Well, I wouldn't say get within range of a, a Media Swarm, but if you can. Oh, yeah. It's, um... It's um, an awesome thing to have. And I'm going to go with a Flame Strike here. Right, and the nice spell book done. Yay, Troll's dead. So, how'd you do? No, in no deaths. Thanks for the help. We'll see you back at the keep. I'll lose all that crap. Lose all that crap. And loot all this crap. Let's go. Back to the world map. Anyway, so let's go see the Wendus Naven. Let's go get this alliance done and dusted. If there is such an alliance. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something strange about this place. <laughs> Cauldron calling the kettle black, I think. Hmm, something strange, eh? Well, if you're seeing things running in your head, who are you going to call? Grobna, gnome hands. I write down an order deposit, I'm going to report to Kalindra. Not to uh, Penton, because he left, that, that coward. Hey, a journal! I've heard of the poet this journal belongs to. He was relentless. The relentless poet, in fact. He disappeared many, many years ago. It seems the orc stripped the body. There doesn't seem to be anything left. Ow, 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 I stubbed my toe on something. What? Are you okay? I, ow, think so. I mean, nothing broken, but, you know, I don't see anything on the ground I could have stepped on. Unless, well, just as I suspected. I couldn't see it because it's invisible. Here, look at this. See, <laughs> it appears to be an invisible instrument of some sort. Just lying around where anyone could have stepped on it and damaged it. Shameful. I wonder if it still works. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> um. Um. What are you doing? Did you hear those lingering tones? The way the notes seem to float in the air? This instrument is able to take even the simplest breaths and turn them into beautiful music. Why? The invisibility. The music. Why didn't I think of it before? This must be a Wendersnaven instrument. Okay, something's wrong with the frame rate here. I think it might have to do with the um, movement cues going around and, um, I don't know. <laughs> Comes away from an invisible noise, doesn't it? It sounds like you're doing a phlegmy whistle. If they do exist, are they aren't here now? No, you're right. They certainly don't. Or at least they're not here now. Doing Grobner. Perhaps the rumors of their shy nature are not an exaggeration. I am somewhat sorry for leading you on this rabbit chase. But, but, well, perhaps this amazing find is actually a gift. The Wendersnaven's way of helping us. Uh, sure. We'll find the Wendersnaven someday. I want to believe. And you know, I think that's enough. As long as we both believe, knowledge of their legendary existence will never die. Well, goodbye, Wendy Snaven, wherever you are. And thank you so much for the gift. And then, of course, as we walk away, we get attacked by orcs. Because, you know... Whoa! Alright, broadcast command. Step up to the fight. Oh, and, um... Grobner. Everyone, follow me. Equip some proper stuff, because look, now we've got the, um... <laughs> he can't even identify the flute. He can't even identify the flute he was just given. Now you can. All right. Uh, frame rate. Go frame rate. Hello. Frame rate. I'm going to turn off the uh, Hellfire Blast. And now, Eldritch Chain. Eldritch Chain. Everyone All right. Ready? So yes, he's got the he's got this um Wender Kazoo. <laughs> the Wendus Naven gifted him as a fantastic musical instrument. It's difficult to believe him, though, since the instrument is invincible, and when he plays it, it sounds like he's just humming. However, there is no denying that Grobnar's skills as a bard have become especially adept lately. 
<laughs> so yeah, it uh, can do stuff as well, but you know it's kind of useless in my hand. In, it's kind of useless, especially when I'm you know a freaking warlock and he can use a sling. All right, mainly I'll switch the Hellfire Blast on. Yeah, nice. And I'll switch the Hellfire Shield on. Because now it's time to run around and kill things. Kill you. Jeez, the frame rate the frame rate is very choppy. So I think it's always been this way since in this pile in this it's always been this way. Don't know why, it just happens to be. Don't know it's just it's very choppy. Uh, yeah. And you, grab that. Yeah, I'm just losing everything. Lose all the loot. So we can get ourselves a loot. And there's an Orc Shaman there. Well, looky here. Peg that Skeeter. Hey, Warlock, hey, Shaman. Knock, knock. I can't target you, but I can still do area of effect attacks. That's right. I can do AoE. What can you do? Your mirror image is no match for my Hellfire. Hellfire! Oh, that was easy. See? Whatever you do, don't mess with a warlock. Or a witch. Don't mess with either one. Okay? If you value your life, don't mess with either with either class. Yeah, ask Bayonetta about that one. About messing with witches and warlocks. Cause she knows. Ooh, she knows. Although, you know, I'm not armed. I'm not armed with a whole lot of guns and can load a lipstick bullet or something. No, I can't do that yet. Not in the D and D verse, that is. All right. Anyway. I'm a Star RJ, and I uh, guess I tip the scales in the favor of Neverwinter. Oh, I like that. Signing off.